So I measured the top of the roll bar with the contour. That's why they're kind of cut on an edge. Now I'm going to have to round that off. So once I get it bolted to the roll bar, I'll be able to file that off with an electric file. So, but there's the holes. And these lights are going to mount right in there. And they will be protected. What I'm going to do is, because this plastic that you see here is uh, heat resistant, I'm going to actually mount these into that, backplate it onto this, so we don't have to worry about it. And that's where we're going to be. In the back side, I have another piece of this that I cut off over there that I can just put across the back on the inside so I don't have to worry about the wires. So that's where I'm at. Alright, so far I found a PVC elbow, you know, uh, plumbing supplies. Uh, and I cut it in half because the lights actually fit right in there perfectly. And I know they take the heat because I've used them before for just making little spotlights. Um, so the elbows fit perfect in there. I just had to file the edges down a little bit, flatten them out. Let me take that one out of there. And uh, once I get this lined up and epoxy it in place, you'll see that that fits in there perfectly once it's lined up and done. I have it on an angle coming this way because that's the way the wiring is going to run so I can run it out of here down into the channel and across and then this one can come down and meet it tie them together up here and then run them into a main going down to the switch. I have them also angled because if I had them facing downward they would retain more of the heat from the bulb um, you know and even though I say it's going to work because it has I've got a lot of them around the yard uh, that work using the straight PVC pipe. Um, I'd rather have it, a chance for the heat to escape. Um, but again, I don't use this thing that much uh, during the summertime with lights. In the wintertime, it gets dark quicker, and I'm plowing with it. So, you know, uh, when I say plowing, not commercially. I do my driveway, I'll do my friend's driveway. You know, and there's a, a friend I got about five houses down, I'll do his driveway. <clears throat> so, but I'm not doing it uh, commercially. So, the heat isn't going to be a big, big factor. Um, again, during the summertime, it's, it's light out until 8, 8.30, and by that time I'm shot anyway, so it can make a difference. However, the wire. Guys, if you're going to work around the shop, it's good to have wire. Now I have a lot of this wire left over from when I had my communication shop. Um, I used to do a lot, of, a lot of installations of cell phones, high-end stereo systems, CBs, ham radios, alarm systems, sun roofs, you name it, I did it. Um, so I have a lot of wire left over. This is uh, waterproof underground. Uh, it can be used for speaker wire, or in this case it's black and red, so power and negative. So I've had that roll. Also, over here is another roll of four. This is a four conductor. We've got a red, a black, a green, and a white. It's a little bit thinner gauge, but again, it's the same type principle. This is just a lot of scrap wire I keep hanging around because I need it. I also have, up top, if you can see it, there's some 10 gauge red, 10 gauge black, and there's some four gauge red, and there's another four gauge black around here someplace. Um, as well as, wherever the hell it is, I've got a 500 foot roll of um, 12 gauge speaker wire. Um, I don't know where the hell I put that one. Uh, and then I got naturally that kind of you know house wire. But. But it's always good to have wire laying around. And I even keep some of the small scrap wires because you never know when you're gonna need a small piece of wire. So, uh, you know, wires, butt connectors, that stuff there. Again, I say I have a lot of this only because I had a store. Um, but I still keep up on it. 
you know, if I start running low, I order it because I'm so used to having it when I need it that it's, I, I gotta have it. That's all there is to it. And if you're gonna do a lot of putzing around, it's always good to have a few hundred feet of wire laying around, as is a lot of connectors. There's some LED bulbs, there's all types of connectors, PL259s, SO239s, barrel connectors, F connectors, N connectors, uh, SMA connectors, heavy duty fuse boxes, uh, junction boxes, heavy duty fuse holders, all types of battery connectors, naturally nuts for your house stuff, and then over here I have alarm stuff, as well as some shock sensors, motion sensors, uh, switches, all types of bulbs, and more of the battery connectors like stud connectors and such like that. Um, you know, so it's, it's just and naturally paint. You know, like the putts around with birdhouses. Up there I have uh, rolls of just clear tubing, different sizes. So it's good to have this shit laying around. Yeah, so, yeah, you go to a store, you're, you're buying something, you know, you see something there, it's going to cost you three or four bucks to buy it. Sometimes if you're building a shop, it's worth it because it adds up quick. You know, you don't have to buy it all at once. So, I mean, if I had to buy this all at once again, I don't know if I'd do it or not. All right? It's easier now for me to just replenish it because I already have it. So, but anyway, guys, so much for that. I always start off and away I go. So... It must be the cheap drugs. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to finish the tractor tomorrow. I'll give you a blow-by-blow blow on that. And I'm going to try to get these lights done tomorrow. Um, I'm just going to uh, cut a piece of that wire. Because this wire is, first of all, it's kind of cold. Uh, when I'm out here, I got the heat up. But normally it's only 48 degrees. I keep the heat on 48 out here. Um, so this wire is a little stiff. So I'm going to cut what I need. And I'm going to just let it hang. So it'll start to soften up a little bit. All right, guys, have a good night. All right, so that's all fiberglassed in. Went a little crazy with it, but I figured once it hardens, I'd rather have more than not enough. And uh, you're not going to see that anyway, to be honest with you. But uh, I can sand that all down once I hardens up a little bit more. I want it to harden just enough so I can sand it, but not so hard that it's going to be a pain in the ass. And then I can sand around here, clean all that up, all the inner parts, and then I've got my connections. I can make my socket, and we'll be all set. So right now it looks a little crapola, but uh, when I'm done with it, it will be just fine. So, so now I gotta clean some of my tools that I used while that cures. I wanted to go black, however, uh, I ran out of black paint. So if I wanna rush it, I can do John Deere green. However, I think I'll go pick up some Rust-Oleum uh, high temp black or that bumper black, uh, something like that. And I'll do it black the way I want it and don't have to worry about it and it'll give everything time to set so that's it for tonight i am done well guys i had to go in and get the cannon because the jvc camcorder the one that i have which is i believe the 50 hm hm 50 gl gu something like that which is actually my second one because after about a year, not even the first one just crapped out. And now the second one just crapped out. I went to charge the battery and the battery was semi-dead. So uh, I put the charger in it. Nothing. Not indicating the charge at all. So I picked another battery out that I have for it, a new battery, and plugged that in. And nothing. It won't turn on. So anyway... I don't think I'm going to buy any more JVCs because for some reason they don't seem to last and I don't abuse them. So uh, other than that, this is it. we are got here in the front. I'm on autofocus. Is it focusing? I couldn't tell you. Because uh, my glasses are all smudged. But that's the front part. Now right now it's just held on with clamps. Uh, but it's in place. So now I gotta decide if I want to bolt it and put acorn nuts on the ends to, for decorative reasons, 
or do I just want to tack it? Now the tacking would be a problem because the bar is, uh, the light bar is aluminum. The um, row bar is uh, steel, iron, metal, one of those above. So that's where I'm at there. So right now everything is just in place waiting for me to do whatever it is I have to do. And I got the switch over here, so I'll turn them on. On, if I can find a switch. There you go. The fronts are on. And the back is on. And I like the way that little one lights up. It gives me just enough without going crazy. And because it's low amperage, it's not going to draw a lot, a lot off the battery. So the front ones don't draw a whole lot either, but they do draw more. And they do tend to get a little hotter. So, but that's where we're at, guys. So now it's just a matter of uh, mounting it permanently. Turn off the lights. And now I gotta figure out what the hell's wrong with that cam camcorder, the JVC. If worse comes to worse, I guess I'll just have to buy another one, but it's not gonna be a JVC. That's for sure. Um, and I'll try to find one that has a remote because I think that'll be a, a handy little gadget to have. So, but other than that, that's where we're at. So there we go. The front ones are on, and my little rear one is on just to give me a little bit of light back there. It's not going to give me a lot to work with, but it'll give me a little bit of light just to show that I'm there and on top of the bar I'm going to put a, uh, a strobe but that's just going to probably be a magnetic because it will never last up there so and that's kind of it so we're done now the front lights they're kind of shining out more than anything but even though the other lights from the bucket in the front of the bucket are going to be blocked behind the bucket rather um, that gives me enough lower level light so I'll have enough upper light to where uh, I shouldn't have any problems so we're all set and uh, we're all done it's a wonderful thing <laughs>